Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's really nice to have everyone here. So yesterday, Hurricane Barrel plummeted through Houston and the surrounding areas. That was a fun morning. So the rain started like maybe where we live in New Caney around like 6, 6.30 and it was intense. The winds were like over 80 miles an hour and it was like really hard torrential rain. Our power stayed on as long as it could, I guess, but around nine o'clock in the morning, our power gave up and we've been without power since. And Intergy Power Solutions don't know when we're gonna get power back. Our entire neighborhood is out most of our area is out and then when you get over into the Harris County lines where they're on ERCOT over 1.7 million people are without power and we are under a heat advisory today so <clears throat> luckily for us our chosen family Sandra and Chantessa invited us over to they opened their house to us. To me, James, Will, our brother Vinny. So graciously, without a second thought, we're like, come over now. Get over to our house. We have power. It's okay. You are always welcome here. I'm so thankful. I'm so saddened for all the people who are without right now especially in this heat. <sighs> Thank you, God, for our family, for our chosen family. Thank you so much. Thank y'all for letting us come stay with you guys. <sighs> so this is the aftermath of Barrel. Yesterday, uh, the rain and everything kind of, it didn't subside, but it, it went away for a little while. So around like one or two o'clock, we were kind of able to get out and just kind of very carefully assess damages. All the trees in our neighborhood like were knocked over, branches all over the roads. It wasn't easy to get out of the neighborhood, but there were there were paths where people were driving so it was able to get through. We got out of the neighborhood and we went over to the Valley Ranch Town Center and because the energy map said they had power and Target in, at Valley Ranch had power. And we were like, oh snap, let's run inside and get a couple of like grocery supplies. Maybe we can go inside our workplace nearby. Maybe it has power, we can use the microwave. It didn't though and we should have checked it first. But while we were inside Target, I was able to go to Starbucks and get a coffee. I was very coffee deprived. That was lovely. I was extra gracious, as were all the people in line, extra gracious to the baristas and thanking them for being there. Thank you for making us a cup of coffee today. Thank you. When we found we didn't have power there either, we called our friends and they, Sandra and Chantessa, had power. And without a thought, we're like, come over. Like, what are you waiting for? Come come stay at our house. And thank you, thank you for opening your doors to us. So we waited and Intergy didn't really send out any notifications about the power until last night when they sent us a notification saying that this could take several days they have to assess all the damages but it was bad and the repairs could take several days to get power up and running to everybody so hopefully it's sooner than later we'll see um until then they have opened their doors to us so we are here with them at their house we are over at the HEB by their house. 
to get a few extra supplies um, for like breakfast and stuff in the morning so that we have meals that we can cook. Um, over here, they didn't really get affected as badly. Definitely not as much, like, not as much. You could tell the hurricane didn't hit over here quite as bad as it did on our side of town. And they have power. So that's amazing. So we came here to get some supplies really quick. Um... My heart breaks for Houston, though. Like, people in the city, like, it got hit bad. Like, the Heights, River Oaks, all those areas were, like, lakes. Like, underwater flooded so bad. I went to bed with such a heavy heart last night. Because we are blessed enough to have our friends who have us here at their house with electricity and everything so we're in the AC and all that good stuff but so many people don't have that we tried to go to the gas station yesterday to just top off and because we were at like half a tank and the lines were so ridiculously long and everybody there was filling up their giant red gas tanks I guess for their generators but also too like where's the humanity y'all like let everybody get a little bit instead of like hogging all the gas and I get it because y'all don't know how long you'll be without power but still and we're finding out from reports today all over gas stations are empty like in especially in New Caney Houston the areas that really got hit by barrel gas is sold out um, my prayers are with everyone who got affected, who got rained out, who lost their power, anything. My prayers are with you all. I love you guys. Keep in touch and let us know what's going on. Check in with family as you can. Cell service has been so spotty and not. Text messages have been coming in very delayed and in like groups, like spurts. So just try if you can to keep in touch with your loved ones. Let them know, let us all know that you're okay and we're gonna get through this together. It's gonna take a village to recover from this hurricane. I pray that, I pray that this is it and we don't really see many more storms. Give us some time to recover, please, Mother Nature, please. That's the update for today. I will update you guys more as more things come up, if any new news happens, stuff like that. But until then, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on in my world and why I haven't been super active. I have not been able to be. But, hey, we're going to get through this, everybody. Please take care. Please be safe. And please keep in touch. Let your loved ones know that you're okay. God bless you.